This little clip is about invoicing, and it's just to sort of give you a feel about the subject before you get into it. Uh, if generally, if you understand the subject matter, you can deal with the problems uh, fairly well. So the topic is invoicing. We've already uh, covered discounts at this period. You've talked about basic discounts, and you've also talked about discount series. So now let's look at in invoicing. You've talked about the merchandising chain. We start with the manufacturer, we move to the distributor, we move to the wholesaler, then to the retailer, and finally we buy from the retailer. And all the way along there are uh, credit terms that are involved, with the exception of the actual customer. Uh, and how is this credit sort of tracked? It's tracked with invoices. So we will constantly see invoices as we move through the merchandising chain from one level to the next. Each invoice will have an amount of money on it. So think of this part to the right of this line as an invoice. And they have a couple of samples of invoices in glass, and I will go through them with you. This invoice is for $2,750. Uh, it was written on October the 23rd. Uh, the terms that we saw, and that's what we'll be discussing for a bit, are a 2 slash 10, comma, 1.5 slash 20, comma, N slash 45. This is an N, by the way, a small N that we're looking at here. And the goods were received on October the 27th, 2010. The actual goods uh, arrived at our door, um, depending on where we are in the merchandising chain. Now, let's talk about these terms first of all. The terms that here say that for the first 10 days, now, first of all, we have to decide, well, where do you start counting the days? There are three types of dating methods. One is ordinary dating, and that's the normal way business is usually done. Um, you'll recognize that because there will be nothing after these terms. It'll just end with net 45 or net whatever the term is, and nothing else is written there. That will be an indication that you have ordinary dating. With this, the only date that's important is the date on the invoice. And in this case, it's October the 23rd, 2010. So that becomes date 1 that you enter into the calculator. So that would be date 1, October the 23rd, 2010, if you were using the ordinary dating method. There's another dating method that's called ROG for receipt of goods. And in the example I've used over here, if the goods were received on October the 27th and it was ROG dating, now how would we know it's ROG dating? At the end of this, it would actually say ROG. So that's a good hint, isn't it? That that would be ROG dating, receipt of goods dating. That would mean in the calculator for date one, we would be putting in October the 27th. 2010. That would be our date one. Finally, the last type of dating is end of month dating. We would know it was end of month dating because again, up here after the terms, it would say EOM, standing for end of month. In that case, October has 31 days, and we would put in the calculator October the 31st, 2010 for date one. So depending on the dating method, that will determine what the first day is. And this, these terms say for the first 10 days, you will get a 2% discount. So you would just put the first date into your calculator, put the days between dates as 10, and that will tell you when this period ends. And during that period, you will get a 2% discount. Now you know how that works from the section you had earlier on uh, the discounting. So that would just go into your discounting formula, and you could figure out how much um, that payment would actually be worth with that discount. And we will have lectures, we will talk about partial payments. That's really uh, where the nitty gritty of this topic comes in, but that's not uh, what this little clip is dealing with. The second part says for the next 10 days, now take note of that because it says 20. So this was for the first 10 days, this is up to day 20. Well, you've already got a 2% discount for the first 10 days. So this means from day 11 to day 20, you will get a 1.5% discount. Remember, these discounts are to encourage people to pay early. Remember, that was one of the major reasons we gave a discount. To buy in volume, to pay early, promotional discounts, all of those things we talked about earlier. And the last one says that this was sort of the discounting period right here, these 20 days. 
But this is now the end of the credit period. This says the credit period ends in 45 days. So from day 21 to day 45, there will be no discount. But by day 45, that must be paid off in full. That's what that is saying. One more thing that you need to know. Sometimes this part is missing. So it just says 2 slash 10 comma 1.5 slash 20. And then it might say ROG or EOM. But you don't have a net figure. If that happens, it's always assumed that the credit period is extended by exactly 20 days beyond the last discount. So if this was not written at all, it would be understood here to be net 40. Now this is a lot to take in on one little clip. So you might want to review this a, a few times, then attend the lectures, try some of the examples in the book. Uh, and I think this is exercise 4.2. Thank you very much.